Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video. The slow children of the Democratic Party. <laughs> I just got off I just got off work, um coming back from my um, going back to my old job and it's it's welding steel. I'm not I'm not gonna be welding aluminum at this at this place, but uh I think it's gonna I think everything's gonna work out pretty well. Uh, and if it doesn't then I can always have the I didn't burn a bridge, I can always go back to the other job I had. But anyway, I wanna do this video. After hearing about um, <laughs> this talk of a ban on menthol cigarettes, now I don't smoke. Never been a smoker. Never intend. I don't ever intend on smoking. You know, it's, it's not good for you. But you know, so is you know. I'm sure, pretty sure eating hot dogs is not good for you in some you know some way. But I understand we all got to take our you know pick and choose the risk we take. But I think it's you know I think it's important to understand that you know cigarette smoke is smoking cigarettes is, is not is not the healthiest thing you can do for yourself. But I think it should be everybody's responsibility to be able to make that decision for themselves and to find ways to keep themselves healthy, um, be able to do our free will. But this, this is, this is, this is ban that's being proposed to uh, rid the market of menthol cigarettes because they disproportionately target who? Black Americans. <laughs> and. They, and it is this claim that you know they want to you know uh, these cigarettes are they're bad for they're bad for the black community and they need to be banned in order for you know to protect black people's health. And, you know, and to me, the all this again, I don't smoke, I don't, I don't support smoking, but I don't never, I would never support a ban for someone else, for someone else's good. And all this does is all, this is just more evidence. That the Democratic Party sees Black Americans as retarded kids, and it sounds harsh, I know, but it actually, but it's, but it, it, follow me with this. Every time that there's something, every time there's something affecting, every time there's something, there seems to be, there seems to be something affecting the Black community, whether it be saying the word nigger, or having, or, or menthol cigarettes, or uh, response to a hurricane. Uh, let's see, uh, response to. Uh, youth violence, uh, responding to what else? Um, rep representation, some in some form or fashion. There's always this cry for. Uh, there's always this cry for activists or politicians to have the state do something about it. And I keep thinking to myself, well, is is there, is there no way that black there's is there's no way that black individuals black um, individual black Americans can do for themselves? They can't do it. They can't do anything to fix their own to fix their own situation. Why is it that they? Why is it that this group in the United States constantly need help? Or why is it? Or is it? Why does it need to perceive that they always need help? I mean, even even if want to, even if people want to drum up the whole thing about slavery, there were many who escaped slavery on their own. There are many who, who purchased their way out of slavery. There are many who worked their way out of slavery. There are many who acquired a skill to get out of slavery. And, you know, and, 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 and there are those who were not slaves to begin with. And, and they, were, hey, they, were even, they were even black Americans that owned slaves. <laughs> you know, so with, even, with the, even with that happening, there was still an opportunity, there was still opportunity to be, to be, uh, to be, uh, to, be to, to go after. There was still something, there was something in, in people's grasp to free themselves from the things that would make their lives uh, seem to be something that was, you know, a, a nightmare on a nightmare on earth, a hell on earth. But they seem, but they somehow found a way to cr crawl out of that and make something of themselves. I always bring up, you know, Booker T. Washington. He was one piece. He's someone I like. To, I like to reference a lot. You know, he was a slave and found a way to create the Tuskegee on the Tuskegee Institute to encourage uh, economic. Independence for free for new for newly free for newly free black slaves, and now we're at the point where it seems like it seems like what's being what's constantly being drummed up is that black people need help, and it, it is it, to me it comes across as though they think that we're infantile, which sadly to say many have actually live many many, many there are many groups uh, there are many subgroups within the black within black Americans. That carry they like to carry out this uh, carry out these stereotypes. They love to be infantile. They love to be emotional. They love to lash out. They love to be destructive. They love to pass blame. You know they love to do all the things that show that that shows a person to not be capable of independent thought, of of rational thought, of reaching logical conclusions, of connecting dots. And it's it's highly unfortunate. 
So, it, 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 to me, it, uh, with everything that, with all the, you know, with all the, the, the mountain of evidence that come from things like uh, the, the Great Society, um, even even in some senses, even in some instances, integration. Which I'm not, I'm not against integration. Integration. I'm against it being forced. You know, I'm 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 for, I'm for people getting coming together on their own. I'm not for people being forced to live together. They don't that they don't mesh with. With all this with this mountain of evidence, it seems to be that the Democratic Party does not. They really do see Black Americans as retarded kids. Because like, think about it, think about it, with a, with, a, with, a, with a slow kid with a special ed kid. Not including myself as being special, and I'm 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 special. My name is Ed, but you you, you guys gotta understand. There's this. If there seems to be always a, there seems to always be this instance where they have to be saved from themselves. And if you think about a slow kid, you can't really you know they say a slow kid knocks over a vase. Well, you can't really you know you really can't you know get mad get mad at him. He doesn't know what he's doing. You know he he does, he can't comprehend what's going on and what's going on in his own environment. You know he thinks it's you know he thinks that he thinks destroying a vase is fun you know it's it's fun it's fun and fine and dandy, and so you know we just you know just just pat him just pat him on the head and you know give him a candy and you know and see him in a corner. That seems to be that's the same that seems to be the same thing that the Democratic Party has done to Black Americans for decades, and I just have to come and I think this I think banning menthol cigarettes, is just seem to be it just seems to be another you know, there's, there's one more one more log in the fire, and I wonder when is it going to stop. You know, when our when our Black Americans are gonna wake up and understand that they've been played for fools, they've been led astray, even by even by those who look like them, especially a lot of these you know race pimps, these these race hustlers that always want to drum up racism whenever something whenever a, uh, whenever an incident occurs. It can never you know it never is like it's like it it can't be that they it can't be that people can't imagine in their heads that maybe this individual who's committing all this crime is not doing so because. You know, because he, he, you know, because he's he's being held back because of his skin color. Maybe he's doing it because he's a scumbag. Maybe he's doing it because he actually loves destroying things and ruining people's lives. Maybe we should target that individual, individuals that that, that think and act like that, and do some and do something about them. But leave everyone else alone because they're capable of taking care of themselves and being productive members of society. But that does, but that, but that doesn't seem to be that doesn't seem to register when you when we're talking about black people in America. Because no, they they need to have their hands. They need to have their hands hold, their hands held. They need to have their snacks. They need to have their playtime, and they need to have their nap time. And, and, just, and just leave it at that. They can't. Be, they can't be. They, they can't progress past being being infantile. You know, in, in, in their older age, they they have to be looked at constantly as being a slow kid in a slow class. But that's but, that, but these are my thoughts. Please, tell me what you think. Do you think I'm on the Do you think I'm on the money with this? You know, do you see the same things that I'm seeing? Please share your thoughts, leave a comment in the comment section, like, share, and subscribe. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like my channel, check out my older videos and look for new videos to come. If you got any gripes, complaints, you didn't like the fact that I said nigger, or you didn't like the fact that I said, you know, retarded, hey, let your voice be heard. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna delete your comments. But that's my video, uh, The Slow Children of the Democratic Party. I'm Remember Jones, you guys take care, be safe, stay strapped, and God bless.